it's such a pleasure to talk to you, gentlemen, <coughs> and I'll start with the sheer excitement about being here on the real train, on the Orient Express. So is it the first time for you guys as well, because you haven't filmed it on it? Uh, yes, it's it first is. time. Yeah, it is for me as well, first time. But, you know, they the guys did such a great job, and it's it was, you know, exactly identical, yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. How much were you familiar with Agatha Christie's literature? You know, this is a very famous novel, but we're bringing it to a whole new generation that might have not discovered it at the time. Uh, well, I was very familiar. Um, I read this book, in this novel in particular, a uh, long time ago, and then I came back when I knew I was going to do the film. Um, but yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, it's one of those stories that never, you know, the, the generations they can very go, current, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. especially with new visions, you know, the vision of Kenneth and with the new effects and all this. But um, yeah, I think it's great. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Because of the mystery and the intrigue, do you feel you have to always be ahead of your audience when you're playing those types of characters? Because you might know what's going to happen, but the audience is always guessing constantly. Oh, I think you use your intuition for the character, and I don't know, that's that's all I used. It's my, my, my own feeling. Yeah, feeling is good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's such a great ensemble, and it's filmed in such small spaces. So how much did everybody bond together? How was the experience of, of filming it so close to everybody? <coughs> it was great. Uh, I mean, for me personally, uh, I remember one of my first scenes. It was, uh, you know, in a space like, yeah. like this, and Judy Dench was next to me, Penelope in front, Willem Dafoe, Sergey, yeah. every, all this... Uh, actors that I've you know I've uh, admired so much and it was like oh, it was you know it was shocking but we I think we bonded really well because most of the scenes were together you know in the same space and um, but people are amazing yeah like really yeah. good people yeah. that's that's I mean I haven't worked in the acting world before and that was a big surprise to me you know they're not just uh, legendary you know actors but it's good people yeah, we, we I think we bonded really well and became good friends, you know, and on the weekends we got together and played this game. Um, uh, you know, they're great, yeah. Did it feel sometimes like being in a play? Because obviously it's all in, you know, shots uh, together, acting, a lot of talking and a small environment. Did it feel theatrical, especially with Kenneth Branagh helming it? Right. Uh, I mean, a, a little, a little, because of, uh, you know, like you said, the, because of the space, but, you know, always in cinema you have the cuts and the cameras and the cables and all this but in a sense it's uh, it was kind of like a play yeah uh, who had the best costumes and you know was it the kind of set where it's dreamy because everything looks so beautiful and perfect to every detail and in my opinion probably lucy <laughs> lucy <laughs> had a really really beautiful dress judy dench too was uh, um yeah, it was. I mean, it's, I think it's one of the most. Uh, th the movie's very stylish, you know. The wardrobes, it was. Every detail was, you know, uh, very taken care of. Um, not just on the costumes, but on the on the train as well. So I think it's a very, very stylish and very visual. It's gonna look Helps stunning. Helps you to get into the character. Yeah. Yes. You didn't have to think, you know, it's there. Especially yeah. you with the body language of a dancer and everything. So it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. it's, 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 it's very. Uh, Specific. Uh, let's talk about uh, Kenneth Branagh and uh, and him as an actor director because he comes from that breed of uh, of directors who know actors and actors who know directors. Well, for no? well yeah. for me it was a very. I mean, uh, I love his work and I love Kenneth and the way you know, like you say, he's an actor. He comes from an acting uh, background, so it's it's really easy to work with him. Um, I loved it. And I loved the experience. Yeah. Yeah, he really, I felt really protected, and he really looks after you, and very, yeah, yeah. I felt warmth, so it's, it was nice. Yeah, and he gives you a lot of liberty, you know, like a lot of uh, liberty to do whatever you want as an actor, so creatively that's, yeah, that's always good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was he sporting the mustache all through the shooting? I haven't spoken to him yet, so <laughs> I'll ask him as well. <laughs> uh, and it was shocking. The first time I saw him, I was like, oh my God, it's another character. <laughs> it was, uh, but he's amazing in it. Yeah, yeah it, it takes a lot of high maintenance to, to keep that mustache. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, any other favorite Agatha Christie novels? I mean, there's so much we can dive into, but, you know, she's got this fascinating literature. For me, this is my favorite. 
This is a, it was the second time I read it, and it's, it's one of my favorites, yeah. I didn't read her books before the movie. This is the first time, I mean, uh, she's very famous, she's very, she was famous in Ukraine, and, um, and that part, uh, and my actually favorite music was based on the group called Agatha Christie, so mm -hmm. she's a huge name, but this is the first her book I read before the movie.